Stroke play. Match play. Stapleford. Texas scramble. What's that? Well, in today's video, we're going to find out. Hello, my name's Harry. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, please subscribe and please hit that like button. Today, we're going to be looking at all the different scoring methods. In one of my upcoming videos, I'm going to talk about all the junior competitions. So I thought it would be a good idea beforehand to talk about all the different scoring methods, such as stroke play, match play, stableford, and Texas scramble. If you play competitions, you may have come across these scoring methods before. So today, we're going to go across them one by one. Let's get into it. the most common one out of all of them. You see this most of all on the TV and in competitions. It's stroke play. It's where you count up all your shots and the person with the lowest score at the end of the round of goal is the winner. It's as simple as that. Well, it wasn't the best three of the ever, I'm just to the side of the green. Stroke play is probably the least forgiving out of all of them. Because if you have a 9 or a 10, realistically it's very hard to come back from that because every single one of those 9 or 10 shots get put down on the scorecard. So stroke play, even though it's the most common one, it's definitely the least forgiving one. Right, let's move on to match play. Match play is generally used in team competitions and the tournament where you most likely come across this is in the Ryder Cup. It's basically where you play each hole basically like its own mini competition. So the person with the lowest score gets a point and the loser gets zero points and if you both score the same on that hole then you get half points each oh that's where those half points from the Ryder Cup come from well it ended up pretty good although it did do a bit of a swervy worthy in the sky in match play you don't generally play all 18 holes because, for example, if someone is six up and there's only five holes left to play, it's impossible for the loser to catch up, so the whole, so the match is just finished. Well, as you can see, my Swerby Worthy actually worked out really well. I think I might want to play that more often. In Stapleford, you get points depending on how well you score. So this is the point system for Stapleford. If you get a par, it's two points. If you get a birdie, it's three points. An eagle, four points. An albatross is five points. And going the other way, a bogey is one point and a double bogey is just no points. So those point systems are obviously net points. You can rack up quite a lot of points with your handicap. In competitions, I've seen winners get 40 or 44, or sometimes even more. Staplefoot can be very forgiving, because if you have a really bad hole, you just get no points. Staplefoot is used a lot in junior competitions and club competitions, as it can be very forgiving. Because if you have a really bad hole, you just get no points. Whereas in stroke play, that's it, you pretty much can't recover. So it's way more forgiving. Well, it wasn't the best 
best shot ever. I had quite a bit of a swerve on my three wood. But as you can see, I'm not too far away from the flag and I've got an okay shot in. Next up, we're going on to modified stable foot. <laughs>
I think I just set myself up for a par chance. video.